This example will construct a segment coordinate system that rotates compared to the lab's coordinate system based on the direction of walking. If the pelvis angle is defined as the pelvis with respect to the lab, the data are rotated 180 degrees if the subject is walking in the anterior direction in one trial and the posterior direction in another. To begin this tutorial, load a static C3D trial into the workspace by selecting Model, Create Hybrid Model from C3D File. To create a dynamic virtual lab, a pelvis segment must be created first since three of the landmarks in this example are defined off the pelvis segment. Create the first landmark at the center of the lab origin. Create the second landmark, lab x, offset from the origin of the lab 10 cm in the x direction. Create the third landmark, lab z, offset from the origin of the lab 10 cm in the z direction. Create the fourth landmark pelvis lateral, which is 10 centimeters from the lab origin in the direction of the pelvis. Create the fifth landmark pelvis lateral projected, which is the projection of the pelvis lateral on the line formed by the lab origin and lab X. Create the sixth landmark lab lateral, which is 10 centimeters from the lab in the direction of the pelvis lateral projected. Create the virtual lab segment as kinematic only, meaning it will not be included in the inverse dynamics calculations. Use lab Z and lab origin to define the proximal and distal ends of the segment. Since the segment is kinematic only, the radius is irrelevant. Use lab other to define the lateral orientation of the segment. The virtual lab segment is rotated compared to the lab's coordinate system based on the direction of the pelvis.